Justice Aeyong Okoro, a man of a leprous mindset, arrested by the DSS in 2016 for corruption by Mwankwo Tony Mwezigwe, Nigerians. This really shocked you. What he has, you know, said about this very justice. According to Henry Ward, Beecher, take all the robes of all the good judges that have ever lived on the face of the earth, and they will not be large enough to cover the iniquity of one corrupt judge. Can Nigerians imagine the magnitude of justice John, John Aeyong Okoro's iniquity in legalizing certificate forgery? and throwing criminality as a veritable pathway for one becoming the president and commander-in-chief of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. An ignorable disregard of the provisions of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. In the words of retired Justice of Supreme Court, Justice Simon Mwafo, and speaking with the like of Justice John A. Young Okoro, in mind, I won't say Nigerian judiciary is corrupt, but it cannot be denied that there are some corrupt judges. A corrupt judge is more harmful to society than a man who runs amok with a, a dagger in crowd street. This is Justice John A. Young Okoro for real. Nigerians must bear this in mind, as Horace rightly put it, a corrupt judge does not carefully search for the truth. Justice John A. Young Okoro was not therefore interested in searching for the truth, because searching for the truth would end up denying him his much converted prize of selling the political destiny of Nigerians including his generations yet unborn, for a mix of porridge in the manner of biblical Esau. The differences between a corrupt judge like Justice John A. Young Okoro and an honest judge like Justice Chuku Diafo, Oputa of blessed mom memory, is that the corrupt judge has a price for his judgment and the honest judge has his integrity and moral values to protect in his judgment. The former Secretary General of the United Nations, Kofi A. Anana, is his foreword to United Nations Convention Against Corruption, stated, Corruption is an insidious plague that has a wide range of provides effects on societies. It undermines democracy and the rule of law, leading to violations of human rights, distorts market, and roads the quality of life and allows organized crime, terrorism, and other threats to human society to flourish. According to 2022 Transparency International, 2022 Corruption Perceptions Index, Nigeria ranked 150 out of 180 of most corrupt countries in the world. Felis Adela pointed, pointedly says, where the root of private virtue are diseased, the fruit of public private cannot be corrupt. This is Justice John A. Young Okoro in picture. Sahara reporters in their issue of October 8, 2016, wrote on the arrest and detention of Justice John A. Young Okoro. Two Supreme Court Justices, John A. Young Okoro and Sivanus Waguta, were arrested in connection with the receipt of bribes from Gov Governor Yeson Wike of River State. Justice Waguta reportedly traveled to a quarter to revise or receive bribes that he shared with Justice Okoro and other justices in order to help Mr. Nwike to win a case at the Supreme Court 
regarding his disputed election during a search of his home, Justice Mwaguta was in possession of 35, 35, 35, 5, 208 million. That is 395,475,000. 25 dollars and 890 pounds 250 euros the two judges have been linked with massive properties development in abuja and calabar judge Sokoro is said to be building seven houses in calabar with the help of the former governor Godwin Okbabio and his presidential Edom Emmanuel in Akwaibom State. Justice Okoro had 4.35 million, 38,833 dollars, okay, and 1,000 heroes in his possession during his arrest this morning. It is not a sad iron of Nigerians' political experience that the same man was entrusted with the duty of determining the political destiny of over 200 million Nigerians. Was it not therefore self, self suicide on the part of the moral integrity of the Nigerian judiciary that such a morally bankrupt and juridical Periscally corrupt man should be permitted to remain on the bench of the Supreme Court of Nigeria under a normal politically conscious and morally proactive civilized society with a population willing to frontally decide their collective destiny by fire or force. The like of Justice John Okoro should have faced a firing squad a long time ago or if he was deemed to so lucky, either become be cooling off in a remote prison with hard labor somewhere in a remote corner of Nigeria, or ignorably retired to the isolated corner of his remote village in Akwaibom state of Nigeria. But this is Nigeria. A snake must be called something sneaky. Justice Okoro told Nigerians on the 26th of October 2023 that with a forged certificate, any Nigerian citizen can become the President and Commander-in-Chief of the Federal Republic of Nigeria with forged certificates on either any Nigerian can become a Justice of the Supreme Court like him. Justice A. Young Okoro told Nigerians that with forged certificates, one can become the Inspector General of Police. Justice John Okoro told Nigerians that with forged certificate, one can raise to become the Chief of Army Staff and Chief of Defense Staff. Justice John Okoro told Nigerians that the Supreme Court cannot change its previous judgment, which means certificate forgery has become a binding legal pronouncement, constitutional law, and a, a status. So guys, you've all heard it now. What's your take? Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section.